What's up everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to another example. These are equations here and we have to solve for x. Starting off with number one, I'm going to rewrite it over here. So we got 4 to the power of x equals 1 over 64. Now what you want to do with these types of questions is you want to make sure you have the same base on each side. Because if you have the same base on each side, then you could just drop the bases and you could solve uh, for the variables in the exponents. So for example, let's say I have like 2 to the power of x plus 2 equals 2 to the power of 3. Well, at this point, because the bases are the same, that means x plus 2 has to equal 3. And then we could just solve for x. x would be 1. All right, so we've got to do something similar to these equations. Get them into this format, the same base, and then we could drop the bases. So here we got 4 to the x equals 1 over 64. Now, notice that 64 we could change to 4 to the power of 3, right? 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64. Now, problem here is that this 4 to the power of 3 is in the denominator. So what we could do is we could actually bring it up to make it in this format. So 1 over 4 to the power of 3, that's the same as 4 to the power of negative 3. And then we got 4 to the power of x. Well, same base. We could just drop the bases. And then at this point, x is equal to negative 3. So that's the answer for number 1. x is equal to negative 3. And you could check your answer too. You could plug in this value here and then see if the left side and the right side would equal. Okay, moving on to number 2. We got 5 to the x equals 0 0.008. Now this one's a little bit trickier because we're working with a decimal here. But what you want to do is you want to change this decimal into a fraction and then you want the simplified fraction. So 0 0.008, that's like 8 over 1,000, right? 8 divided by 1,000 gives us 0 0.008. And then 8 over 1,000, this actually simplifies to 1 over 125. 1 over 125 is the same as 8 over 1,000. If you take 1 divided by 125, you'll get 0 0.008. And then from here, it's just like number 1. So 125, that's the same as 5 to the power of 3. We got 5 to the x here. These are not in the same format, but we could bring this up. And now the bases are the same. We could drop the bases. x is equal to negative 3. So x is equal to negative 3 is the solution for number 2 as well. Same solution as number 1. And again, you could check your answer. If you take 5 to the negative 3 to the power of negative 3, you should get 0.008 or 1 over 125 if your calculator gives you fractions. Okay, number 3. We got 9 to the power of x equals 1 over 27. Now this one's a little trickier because we're going to have to work with both sides in this case because 27, 9 to the power of something can't give us 27. 9 to the power of 1 is 9, 9 to the power of 2 is 81. However, we can make both of these in terms of base 3. So this 9 here, we know that that's the same as 3 to the power of 2 and then we have this to the power of x outside. So we took this 9 here, which is in brackets, change it to 3 to the power of 2. And then the 27, we could change to 3 to the power of 3. So now we could take this, bring it up. We got 3 to the power of negative 3. We got 3 to the power of 2x, like that. And now the bases are the same. We could drop the bases, so 2x is equal to negative 3, which means x is equal to negative 3 over 2, or negative 1.5. So that's the answer for number 3. x is equal to negative 3 over Two. And again, you could check your answer. 9 to the power of negative 3 over 2. Now, when you take it to the power of negative 3 over 2, make sure you put the negative 3 over 2 in brackets. If you don't, it's only going to take it to the power of negative 3. Right? So 9 to the power of negative 3 over 2 in brackets should give you the same value as 1 over 27. If it gives you a decimal, then just take 1 divided by 27. Make sure the decimal 
is the same. And then finally, number four, we got two to the power of x plus two equals one over eight to the power of two x minus one. So this base of two can't really simplify that any further. That's like the lowest base we can have. So can't really do anything with the left side. However, this one over eight, the eight, we could change to two to the power of three. And then we have this power uh, to the power of two x minus one there. So two to the power of three is the same as eight. <clears throat> but again, can't have this in the denominator. Let's bring it up. So we'll have two to the negative three um, to the power of two x minus one. So we switch this one over two to the power of three to two to the negative three, and then we have two to the power of x plus two. And then from here, you can multiply this. Now, when you multiply these two, you gotta multiply the negative three by the whole expression. So you're gonna have to distribute the negative three. And you know what? It's actually better at this point to just drop the basis. So you'll have x plus two equals negative three bracket two x minus one, like that. But if you wanna take another step and you wanna simplify this, you wanna multiply these two, then the next step would be two to the power of negative six x plus three. You gotta distribute that negative three inside that whole bracket. So whether you do it here or here after you drop the basis, doesn't matter. Just remember that that two x minus one is in brackets. So from here, uh, distribute, so we got negative six x plus three, we got x plus two, bring this over, so we'll have x plus six x, right? This turns into a positive, this turns into a negative, so we got three minus two, we got one, we got seven x, so that means x equals one over seven. That is the answer, x equals one over seven. That's the answer for number four. And to check it, it's a little bit more complex with this question because you have to plug it into the left side and the right side. So plug it into the uh, left side. Remember, that exponent should be in brackets when you plug it in your calculator and you plug in that one over seven for x. You'll get some kind of value, some kind of decimal. And then take this, uh, plug in one over seven for x here. Again, make sure that that's in brackets when you plug it in. And actually the base in this case is in brackets too because it's one over eight. Uh, and you should get the same decimal on both sides. So again, these types of questions, exponential equations, you wanna get the same base on each side. You wanna to get to this point here, and then you could drop the bases, and then you can just solve when the exponents equal.